Okay, so now let's talk about some Atom language related packages. And the first one we have are JavaScript snippets. We know that snippets come by default in Atom, and we looked at an HTML example of a snippet before, but there are some packages that give us some JavaScript related snippets that are really helpful. So we'll take a look at that. There's also a WordPress snippet library for Atom that I don't use as much for this course because we're not doing as much of the PHP, but if you you are developing themes and plugins, you'll find this really helpful. It has autocomplete and a bunch of snippets built in that are great. Um, another helpful plugin here, this could be maybe fall into a different category, but I just put it in with the language packages here, is a great feature that Sublime Text had, which is you could highlight a bunch of text and then hit a shortcut and it will wrap it in HTML tags and you can customize what HTML tags. Now that isn't so JavaScripty, but um, sometimes it is familiar and I just have it as a default. So I'll show you that Atom wrap and tag package as well. However, next one on our list, Babel, is essential for JavaScript development. What it allows us to do is write forward JavaScript of ES6, ES7, ES8, whatever the, the latest JavaScript feature is, and then have it be backwards compatible for older browser, browsers and devices. So we'll take a look at how we could set up Babel inside of Atom, but then later on we're going to look at this tool this uh, feature in a bit more depth it's a transpiler and we'll look at how we could also set it up in some other ways outside of Atom but we'll look at it here um, and how you can do that and then the final one we'll take a look at is Atom Easy JS Doc. Now, this isn't really a feature we'll look at till we get into some more advanced JavaScript topics in the next section of the course, but there is a WordPress supported standard and JavaScript in general, pretty uh, standard way of writing comments for all of our methods and functions. So we'll take a look at uh, some packages that could help with easily doing that. All right, so now let's jump in and we'll look at each one of these again individually, going uh, pretty quick, just talking about each one and showing how it works.